My role is a features writer at TV Times magazine and that can involve so many different things. So one day I'll be writing a feature for the latest TV programme which can mean interviewing anyone from David Tennant to Callum Brady from The Apprentice, anyone like that and just creating a really lovely piece for the magazine. And then the next day it can be compiling the letters page and watching the latest TV programmes and writing reviews for them. But my job also involves social media, which again is a massive part of what I do now. It didn't used to be so much, but it keeps growing and growing and it's such an important part now of creating an online brand for the magazine. So I'm the sole person who looks after Twitter and I also do a lot of the Facebook. When there's a show on something massive like The X Factor, I have to make sure that I'm in and tweeting along the whole time just because it's, it's a great thing to pick up followers and to really connect with our audience. If I'm being honest, it wasn't at all, no. And even before I graduated, I was looking at loads of different jobs in different areas and applying for jobs as well. So I applied for loads and loads of jobs, everything from editorial assistant at Heat magazine to a job marketing and creating board games and everything in between. <laughs> but I didn't ever hear a reply from any of them. I didn't even get a no back from any of them. And I very quickly realised within a few months that that wasn't the way I was going to get a job. So I just applied for lots and lots of different work experience placements. And luckily I got most of the ones that I applied for. And that sort of kept me going and ticking over until I actually managed to land a job doing one of those work experience placements. You've really got to be determined if you want to be a journalist because you will have a lot of knockbacks and you've just got to keep going. And you also have to be very motivated because even when you do get told no or a piece that you do gets rewritten, you just have to keep going and believe that what you're doing is good and that you will do it in the end. Um, and you also have to be really good at time management because when you've got really tight deadlines that you have to complete a piece for, there's no movement on that. You have to get it done and again that can mean late nights, early starts but you do just have to do it. <laughs> it can really vary. Again, one week I'll have countless interviews and loads of features to get done to a tight deadline. And another week I won't have that much to do and it'll be a bit quieter. And that's when I can really spend a lot of time on Twitter. And that's when I really feel like I can give more to that side of my job when um, the magazine side perhaps is a bit, a bit quieter. It depends on the publication as to what you can expect to do for work experience and if you do go to a big magazine you can perhaps expect to be making the tea and doing the photocopying. However, if you do go to somewhere a bit smaller that are a bit more short staff then you can do great projects really quickly and work your way up very fast. I've learned everything from how a magazine is put together to what makes a great feature and it's something that's really difficult to quantify but I know that from when I started to now I've really grown in confidence and I now go to work and I know exactly what I'm doing every day. I'd say that you have to be really hard working and it's, it's a bit of a boring thing to say but you do, you have to be available most of the time, it's not really a 9 to 5 job because interviews can come up first thing in the morning, last thing at night and you just have to be there and ready to do them. My other advice would be to just do as much work experience as you can and that way that you'll meet loads of people, you get loads of contacts and if you really prove yourself while you're at the magazine then if something comes up then you'll be the first person they turn to to want to get a job. I think that's got to be when a piece I wrote was picked up by the Evening Standard and it featured on the third page and quoted TV Times. That was brilliant. Um, that was something that I'd always wanted to see, something that I'd done, picked up by a different publication, and for it to be the Evening Standard was incredible. Um, but every week when I see my name in print, it never ceases to be an achievement for me. I get to go to loads of great launches for shows, and again, these can be for anything, from latest documentaries or talent shows, anything. And often you find that there's quite a lot of freebies as well when you get free DVDs, drinks, <laughs> anything, and that's a really cool part of the job.